All right, watch fans, got another one here. Now, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this came from Watch Gang or something I bought on eBay or Amazon. I have no idea, but we'll find out. We'll find out together. Oh. Man, what the hell's going on? All right, let's see. Okay, well, that didn't open well. What is it? Oh, another Invicta. God, you guys are going to hate me. <laughs> I have no idea what this is, so we'll see. But it looks like it could be a fancy one. Ooh. Wow. An Invicta pilot watch. All right, let's watch this video. Invicta is affordable craftsmanship. My name is Sandy, Sandy Lee, and I am uh, the chief designer of the Invicta watches. Details is one of the key points of Invector watches. All right, so um, this one came in one of the nicer boxes. They're not always the size. They, they come in different sizes. I don't really understand why uh, some are bigger than others. I think it's just um, something that a lot of people don't know is that Invicta doesn't always make their own watches. Some of them they do, the nicer ones they do. And I think these that come in these big boxes and the nicer ones, sometimes they have like much smaller watches like the original, what is it, 38 millimeter, uh, pro Diver, they don't actually make that one. Someone else makes that for them and puts their name on it. And it's a good watch, right? 38 millimeters starting to get a little small for uh, today's standards, but yeah, so this is a big one. Box is actually made in Cambodia. Uh, saw that right here. Uh, so that's what it is, different places. Um, you know, comes with the manual and the little thing. So fascinating. <clears throat> Let's get down to this. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I actually really like this watch. That's one of the reasons why I bought it. So I got this one on eBay. Don't remember what I paid. Um, it says the MSRP is $495. You and I both know that that's uh, a little aggressive. Um, although the watch is nice, right? I think, I think it's a nice price. That's a little bit expensive. I would probably put this watch, honestly, 
quality, fit and finish, and the way it feels in my hand, I would say this is probably a $195, $200 watch. This feels like a Wenger. So uh, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with it. it very nice quality. Um, Invicta does make good quality watches. I'm going to put up top here how much I paid. I'll put the uh, auction and and everything. <clears throat> but now this is their pilot version of the watch. This is their pilot watch. You can see, if you look carefully at the second hand, I'm trying to get it to uh, zoom in. You can see it's a little airplane on the end of the red, uh, red second hand, central second. Uh, there's no chronograph. There is a chronograph version of this watch, but I got a good deal on this watch. And so that's why I went ahead and got this one. Right in the chronograph. Chronograph is like a, an extra hundred dollars. Um, it has the day of the week at the 12 o'clock location and the date uh, of the week, of the month at the 6 o'clock. Other than that, it's just a standard three-hand, not even a GMT, and that's okay. But I think it looks really nice. The leather watch strap um, may look cheap from the video, but it actually feels really good. This is very high-quality leather. I'm very pleased with it um, and very impressed. Um, I think this is one that I'm going, going to keep. Um, I have seven and a half inch wrists and you can see it, it sits quite well on my, on my wrist. So I'm very happy with it. Now it also has um, sort of a trademark that Invicta is going with on a lot of their watches. Uh, this uh, diamond shaped uh, crown. I've seen this on a few of them. I actually have a pro diver. It's not screw down. I wouldn't imagine it would be but I have seen uh, a few of these on Invictus so far, including one of my pro divers, which is screw down. Um, very nice, and I want to show you the back too, because the back's cool also. This is, I, I can't tell if this is laser etched or, or acid formed, but uh, very nice design on the back. That's pretty cool. So, uh, a couple things since we're on the back. It is 100 meter water resistant. So that means you could take this swimming if you were so inclined. <clears throat> 100 meters is pretty much the go-to for swimming watches, right? I think if you've got a 50, you can shower with it, but I wouldn't, right? 100 meters means that you can basically do whatever you want with it. Uh, you're not gonna go deep sea diving. I don't know that I'd even really go snorkeling with it. But at 100 meters, uh, you pretty much can't go wrong. Um, anything that you're going to do with uh, a watch in water, you can do it with a 100 meter watch. Now that said, this is a leather strap, so I don't know why you would do that. Um, but it's nice to know in case, uh, you know, I don't know, you have a seaplane, you got to jump in the water or something. <laughs> I don't know, but very nice. I, I have to comment on this. This leather strap feels really good. Uh, I'm very impressed. You know, Invicta has some crazy watches. I've shown you a couple of them and I'll put another one right up here. I mean, this is like the iconic right there uh, watch for Invicta that people just think are nuts. And that is sometimes why, why Invicta gets a, a bad rap. And it, funny enough, almost all my videos get 100% likes, but there's always that one guy, <laughs> one of my fans, that uh, one, one, one of my subscribers that would always gives a thumbs down for my Invicta my Invicta videos, which I think is so funny. Um, and I understand, right? Not everyone's a fan. Um, I am really starting to uh, like the brand, but but don't worry, I'm not gonna go off the deep end. Uh, I'm very specific about the watches that I like. Uh, 316 stainless steel, uh, the buckle and the case um, monogram there, you can see Invicta and also on the crown has the Invicta logo. <clears throat> of course it says it on the front. Um, but, uh, yeah. And, and also the crystal, we had talked about this before. Um, it is supposedly stronger than, uh, Sapphire. Now though it's called flame fusion. You can see it says down there at the bottom flame, flame fusion crystal. What that means is it's a hardened mineral crystal, but they use a special process of adhering, uh, some type of uh, mineral to the face and that uh, so, so like Invicta does what's called the three layer sapphire they don't actually usually replace the entire crystal with sapphire they uh, heat treat a mineral crystal and apply three layers of sapphire coating 
which makes it completely scratch resistant uh, as much as sapphire would be, but not impact resistant. This uh, does something similar. I don't know what they use. I wasn't able to find it, but it's some other form of uh, hard mineral uh, and gem, and it, it makes it basically impermeable. Uh, and it's supposed to be uh, significantly stronger than sapphire, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> so it's what it is. Uh, all right, let's get right into some of these things. I'm going to do the weight. It's not heavy. I'm going <clears> to <throat> go on a limb and maybe say 110. I'm always wrong with these things. Yeah, 83. Okay, so whatever, 83. Happy with it. All right. Um, we'll do the, the measurements while well, I've already got it here. Case size, I'm going to say about 43. Forty-five. Um, lug width, I think that was like twenty-two. Yep, twenty-two exactly. Oh, gosh, I'm always wrong. Fourteen. Let's say fourteen. Thirteen. I'm gonna say thirteen and a half. Damn. Eleven point seven. So we'll say twelve. Uh, lug width. About fifty. So not bad at all. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, actually, I'm going to put it on right now. Give me a second. Okay. So, next thing, of course, is the movement. Now, the movement, and I'll put pictures of it up here. Uh, I haven't opened it up yet, but I will. Um, most of these watches have a PC32A. Uh, this one probably has something different because it has the date at the top now if the movement is important to you and i think it should be right it's like the engine in your car and you want to get an invicta always remember that uh if you're getting invicta and it is a standard three hand with date you're going to get a pc 32a which is just a very inexpensive uh, i think it's an epson uh, movement but anytime invicta goes with anything slightly different so like a day um or a chronograph, they always go to an upper level uh, movement. So I always recommend getting those off ones. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the PC32A. I mean, it's a good, solid, reliable movement, but it's just a cheap movement. And it's actually a ladies movement and they stuff it in a man's watch. So hopefully, and I'll open it up later, you can see, and we'll put it up there. So, um, all right, I think we want to do loom. Now it is very sunny out, so we probably won't be able to see it, but it should be pretty cool. If not, I'm gonna, if we can't really get a good, good sight, I'll put another picture of it up on the right. So, yeah, so, yeah, you can't really see it. All right, but you should see it up here. Cool. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. It makes it worthwhile because I'm not just talking to myself. Uh, and if you have any watches you think I should buy and get into, and I am looking at an Aragon, just so you guys know. Uh, but, you know, probably be a couple of days before I get that. But just put... Um, Put comments in, in the in the comment section below. Thank you very much.